Good morning, Cushing Academy, and welcome prospective students to review today. To give everyone a little insight into me, my name is Kylie Butterfield, and I am a two-year senior from the beautiful island of Bermuda. Here to talk before all of you about my ethical journey. I am, as I embark on sharing my journey with you, my story begins on the enchanting shores of Bermuda, a close-knit island where its community thrives and our values are deeply ingrained. Growing up, I lived the intimate setting and vibrant culture of Bermuda where neighbors are not just acquaintances, but extensions of one's own family. Empathy and compassion never felt like virtues to be admired, but essential threads woven into the fabric of everyday life. The essence of integrity, compassion, and resilience were constant lessons from my family and community, and their unwavering support and guidance provided me with a strong moral compass guiding me through early chapters of my life. However, as my story unfolds, inevitable twists and turns are always bound to happen that characterize the human experience. Once the pandemic eased and schools opened, I found myself sitting in class, lost. Even though he's not here, I was permissive all of School felt like a chore. I was draining from a place that should have been bringing me joy and wasn't challenging myself. My close-knit island all of a sudden became suffocating. Bermuda was a bubble leaving me unchallenged, detached from the world around me, and distant from my goals. I yearned for more. I needed an environment that would challenge me and shape me into the best version of myself, and that's when I discovered the option of work. To be honest, when I brought the idea to my mom, she laughed out loud. Her plan for me involved the predictability of local education and leaving for college when the time was right. She was not open to the idea of her only child leaving home with still everything. And it will shut down that idea completely at first. But I never gave up what I, what, with fighting for what I want. In September 2021, we attended the Border School Fair in Bermuda, where she believed that after attending the fair, that my persistent request would end. Little did she know that glimpse into a world beyond my own ignited a fire within me. However, my cautious mom still found it hard to accept this new path, and she didn't want any part of it. Now, I'll be sure with all of you. I never openly hit the fact that I was applying to board school, but I wasn't openly discussing my aspirations either. And after a mental battle of gathering necessary documents, recommendations, transcripts, and completing applications, my three applications for boarding schools were completed and submitted on February 1st, 2022. I felt so relieved and excited, but it was only the beginning because now I had to wait. For my seniors out there, the waiting process is no joke, am I right? And for the juniors, Oh boy, are you in for something? A month went by filled with so much anxiety and uncertainty until decisions were released. And on March 10, 2022, my mom and I read that I would be a future painter. My world completely shifted, and the door to endless possibilities was now wide open. I visited Cushing for the first time on April 1, 2022, for revisit day, and it felt like a utopia, where knowledge and community intertwined seemed and I was ready to start this new chapter in my journey. However, as my journey led to boarding school, a place of learning and growth, it's also a place of challenges and temptations. In the midst of newfound freedom and independence, mistakes were made. I stumbled, faltered, and faced the consequences of my actions. Nobody can be perfect, and mistakes will always be made with whichever paths you take. But it's whether or not you let those mistakes define you or not. Mistakes are little moments in the grand tapestry of our lives for growth and redemption, and instead of letting my mistakes define me, I embrace the lessons learned and begin embarking on a journey of personal transformation. I sought to embody my virtues that were instilled in me by my upbringing, and through navigating my new path, I found solace in the guidance of mentors and the support of friends and family. I became involved in the community with organizations and leadership positions, and with each encounter, each experience, I was enlightened. I was at home, in a community that wanted to see me thrive at my highest potential, where I wasn't judged for my flaws. So as I stand here before you, humbled by the journey that has brought me here, I am not without flaws. My journey in Cushing was not a solitary one, but was a collective endeavor shaped by the interactions and relationships I cultivated along the way. And sadly, all good things have to come to an end. My fellow seniors, as we stand on the threshold of a new chapter of life, I urge you to embrace these last two months and to face the challenges ahead with courage and conviction. Be the beacons of hope and the agents of change as we bid farewell to this beautiful chapter and set sail to new horizons. 
never forget the bonds you forged along the way. And for my younger classmen, these are the good old days. Live them to the fullest, and never forget that your mistakes are the stepping stones for embarking on a new path of self-discovery and growth. In closing, I would like to leave you all with this quote. Life's journey is not about arriving at a destination of perfection, but rather navigating through the imperfection with grace and integrity. Thank you.